I'm going to show you here the basics of setting up the FH2 with its web-based configuration tool. For this, we're going to connect the FH2 to a computer via USB. The cable you'll need will be USB-C at the FH2 end and whatever's appropriate for your computer at the other end. So USB-A for a traditional USB port or USB-C for a newer machine. So plug in USB-C to the FH2. Now plug in USB-A at the computer. When you make the connection on the FH2 screen, a little C icon will appear to show that the USB-C connection is active. Once the FH2 is connected via USB, you can run the configuration tool. Uh, this is linked from the FH2 webpage here. It's also linked from the user manual. So we'll click on that. So this is what the tool looks like. Now at this point, um, we're in Google Chrome and we've got this icon, which means Chrome has blocked the web page from using the MIDI API, which is a security setting, which is fair enough. So what we'll do is we'll save the page locally. Just save it to the desktop. And once you've made a copy, you can just load that in your web browser and it will work more nicely. So it's popped up with the page wants to use your MIDI devices, so we'll allow that. And now we've got this happy message here, MIDI access granted. And because the FH2 is plugged in, the page is auto started with the FH2 as the MIDI destination and um, the source. Just to do a little test, if we press the request FH2 version button, it sends some sysx, it receives some sysx, and this reports that the FH2 is running firmware version 1.0 which is correct. What we might want to do at this point is um, grab the current state of the FH2 so we can start to edit it. We do this with this button here, upload from FH2. And you see the UI is updated with the default configuration, which is one MIDI to CV converter on channel one, monophonic CV and gate. And we've got the default uh, CC assignments for directly controlling the output levels. And if we show the clock section, We've got the default clocks a run stop on output 8 and a 24 pulse per quarter note clock on output 7. So that's the FH2's default state and now we can start to edit it to do what we need to do.